Yo guys, what's going on? Tyler back with a brand new video here talking about how you can make your basketball team. There's a couple different scenarios I'm going to go over. Uh, I do want to give you guys a little bit of background on my end. Um, so I played a little bit of middle school basketball. I never really got into high school basketball. And I've actually run with some college basketball teams. The, the community college that I went to, I did have the opportunity to go to one of their practices a while back. And um, I didn't try out because their team was like their, was based two hours north of me. Uh, this college had four different campuses. So I never really got to play because I worked uh, you know, to get through college. And I've also played on some rec teams where you had to try out to actually get in the league. And I've never actually not made a basketball team. So, uh, I got a couple things I want to go over. A couple different scenarios. Things that you need to work on in the off season so you can get on the team this season. By the way, if you guys want to see this video with a basketball coach, I can see I have a friend named Justin and a friend named Steve. Uh, Steve was the assistant coach for the middle school uh, basketball team in the area, and Justin is the head coach for the middle school basketball team in the area. Um, and maybe I can see if I can get them to sit down with me so you can see it more from a coach's perspective and less from a player's perspective. So there's a couple different players that every team needs. Whether or not you start is completely on you and the amount of effort you put in in practices. There's a couple different players that every team needs. One is a shooter. So if you guys don't know who Silent Spectrum is, this is Josh. He actually made the Luzerne County Community College, which is where we grew up, uh, their basketball team. And uh, so he made that team, but he never played basketball, or he hadn't played basketball since middle school, right? Um, so all Josh did well, because he did a lot of things decent, all he really did well was he could shoot. So they added him to a junior college team. Now Josh probably wouldn't have made it off the bench in a Division three college, but like he, he had the promise to do it. So if you can shoot consistently, no team can pass up on you. If you can shoot better than everybody else on the court, all you gotta do is stand in the corner and hit the shots, set your screens like you need to. That's it. The next player that every team needs, you need a defender. You need the guy that's gonna get the garbage buckets, that is okay with averaging six to eight points a game, and getting six to eight rebounds and, and doing all the dirty work, setting those hard body screens, doing the rolls, getting the rebounds, the offensive boards. You need that guy. The guy that's constantly screaming, hey, there's a screen coming. Slide your feet, back door, a defensive rotation. Now, if you are the guy that can sauce people up and score at will, you're not watching this video. You already made the team. Let's be honest. But those are pretty much like the two main roles that teams are going to need. If you're not sure if you if you can make this team, this is what you need to do. And you got to be honest with yourself. If you're a heavier dude uh, and you're a little bit taller, um, maybe like you're in high school and you're, you're 6'2", but you're 220, garbage buckets might be for you. Um, and if you were to hit 6'4", 6'5", and start getting buckets at 220, cool, you might be the star player your senior year. But I'm talking like you just walked into high school, you're 6'1", six 6'0", six maybe, you're 220, 230, Get your garbage buckets, my guy. If you are a little bit skinnier, maybe like, you know, a buck 80 and you're like 5'9", five 5'10", five you're going to get thrown around a little bit. And you can shoot. Shoot better. You're a big dude. Get those garbage buckets. Be ready to run off the pick and roll. And it, that shooter, as long as you're open in the corner, ready to shoot, just cash out. Um, those are the two roles. There's another main, very important part to making a basketball team, and that's actually coachability. If you are unwilling to waver what you know for somebody that knows so much more than you who's a coach then you're going to be messing up in the sport if you can't follow a coach's game plan it doesn't matter how good you are you could be the sauciest player on the east coast you need to be able to be coachable unless you're playing aau it doesn't matter these are system basketball if you're a freshman and you're saucy you're not coming off the bench if you can't run a, a zone or you can't you don't do well in practice or you don't learn the plays be the best PG on the East Coast and nobody's ever going to know. Be coachable. When you get to your senior year or junior year, start showing out a little bit. Do your thing. The coach has trust in you, but you got to be coachable. Next is to have a great attitude. Practice is practice. You're not AI. Put the work in. That's pretty much it for how to make your basketball team. Don't put the work in. If you're not the star guy, be okay with that. Shooters make it to Division II, Division III colleges all the time. Garbage men make it to Division II colleges all the time. You can get a free ride on basketball by playing a role. It's perfectly okay. Just do your best, get out there, be coachable, put the effort in. You're not Allen Iverson. This isn't just practice. Put the effort in, find a role, be coachable, and you'll have no problem making your basketball team if you are that guy in the tryouts. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, I gave you guys a little bit of insight. Again, if you want to see a video, uh, hopefully, I can get those two to sit down with me, or even just one of them to sit down with me from a coach's perspective. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll hear a lot of what I said reverse from them because I've actually had these conversations with Justin and Steve um, when I was going to some of the rec league games or rec, rec league tryouts. So, if you guys want to see me, if I can get them to sit down with me to make that video, just leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. We're on our way to 500 subs. This is Fish. Peace out, y'all.